Dear friends, welcome to our brand new video on the best and worst outfits at the Jordan Royal Wedding between Crown Prince Hussein and Rajval Saif. We hope you do enjoy it and have fun. If you like our videos, please subscribe to the channel, like and share with all your friends and leave a comment here below. Many thanks and watch this space for more. For the ceremony, she opted for an exquisite modern elegantly streamlined bridal gown by Lebanese designer Eli Saab. The dress, in a classic color palette of white and ivory, consisted of sleek yet luxurious design details, long sleeves, asymmetric neckline and draped bodice. The dress also featured a delicate as air veil and an extra long train with cut-out flowers and pearl details. On her feet, she wore flats. For the wedding reception, the princess changed into a second gown, a custom white Dolce & Gabbana Alta Moda ball gown by Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana. The gown featured cap sleeves, a deep sweetheart neckline, layered and embroidered floral-like patterns across the entire design. She also wore a pair of silk opera gloves and a beautiful tiara. Queen Rania wore a long black dress, from Dior's Fall Winter 2022 Haute Couture collection. The gown featured a high collar and wide cuffs with intricate floral embroidery in shades of gold and beige at the neck, cuffs, and down to the middle of her back. In Jordan Black stands for rebirth, renewal, and fertility and it is also one of the colors in the country's flag. The Queen's outfit was completed with a coordinated clutch bag and golden accessories. At the banquet, Queen Rania also changed her outfit and opted for a beige Ely Saab couture gown with a cape and golden embroidery down the hems and on the bustier. The heavily embellished fitted bodice featured embroidery, applique, and passementeries that carried along the edges of the skirt and floor trailing cape. Her tiara was impressive. For the ceremony, Princess Kate was the picture of elegance and looked stunning in a charming blush pink Ely Saab gown. The dress was from Ely Saab's Fall Winter 2017 collection and came with Saab's signature swirling embroidered lace details and a high neckline for a demure silhouette with lace details. The princess paired it with a neutral clutch bag and beige suede sandals from Prada. At the reception, Kate dazzled in a Georgia gown by designer Jenny Packham, a shimmering and glittering pink sequin long-sleeved column gown with a short train. She paired the dress with one of her favorite tiaras, the Lover's Knot tiara. Princess Iman looked beyond beautiful in her custom taupe-colored Ashi Studios couture collection gown. The bridal-style garment featured a maxi-length, a pearlescent hue, long fluted sleeves and a tightly coiled corset feature with matching neck detailing. She accessorized with one of her mother's go-to handbags, the Arabesque Box Clutch, by Sarah Baydoun. At the reception, Princess Iman wore a gown from Jambatista Valley's Spring-Summer 2023 Couture Collection in a very light shade of pastel pink. The bodice was covered in glittering sequins and made the dress look a bit too fuzzy. The beautiful tiara was the same one she wore at her wedding a few months ago. At the ceremony, Princess Beatrice was a vision in a pale blue gown by needle and thread. The dress featured tiers of crystal blue ruffle tulle, long embellished sleeves, delicate button fastenings, sheer panels and ruffle trimmed hems. She finished her look with Clutch Bag by Sophia Webster and Pale Blue Suede Pumps from Ralph and Russo. For the evening reception, Princess Beatrice looked very pretty in a champagne satin gown with an elaborate bodice by Lebanese designer Reem Akra. It is a shame that the same dress had already been worn by another guest at the wedding ceremony earlier that day. Princess Salma is the youngest daughter of King Abdullah II and Queen Rania. For the ceremony, she wore a draped maxi dress in aqua blue by British designer Stella McCartney. At the banquet, she wore a dark purple sequin dress which looked great on her and felt perfect for the occasion. 
She accessorized with the Butcheron bracelet tiara borrowed from her mother Queen Rania. While the ceremony dress was average, the evening dress looked more stylish and was a better fashion choice for her. At the wedding, First Lady Jill Biden looked very elegant in a pale lavender silver silk dress with a slight metallic effect by Lebanese designer Reem Akra. The dress featured three quarter-length sleeves complete with a pearl-embellished neckline and a keyhole cut out. Accompanying her was Ashley Biden, her daughter, who attended the royal wedding wearing a formal black dress with matching clutch and pumps. For the reception, First Lady Jill Biden wore a purple gown with sequin flowers, a mauve shade stole and accessorized with a clutch and silver heels. Ashley donned a black flowing gown. Princess Jalila, cousin to Crown Prince Hussein, was a vision at the ceremony. She opted for a bespoke embellished blue cape gown by Anglo-Jordanian designer Edelina Joyce. The gown featured willowy caped sleeves, a rounded neckline, an all-over sparkle design and delicate layers of sheer fabric. She accessorized it with nude pumps. At the wedding, Princess Elizabeth wore a fuchsia beautifully flowing caped gown by Belgian brand Essential Antwerp as she was accompanied by her father King Philippe of Belgium. She finished off the very elegant look with statement earring. This color really worked for her and she was the best Barbie core trend look of the day. At the reception, she donned a dark blue gown from Armani Privé Spring Summer 2023 Couture Collection. She looked elegant but the combination of sheer sleeves and blue glitter made the upper part of the dress look like a ballet costume. At the wedding, the Queen of Buthan and her sister-in-law were seen wearing stunning traditional Bhutanese dresses. To finish off the look, Queen Jetson Pema wore a lovely suite of jewels set with orange-red cabochons. Her sister-in-law, Princess Euphelma, wore a set with blue-green beads. For the evening reception, they both looked beautiful in their elegant pink traditional Bhutanese dresses. Queen Jetson finished off her look with a lovely demi parure set with diamonds and red gemstones, plus a slim strand of diamonds in her hair. For the wedding, Queen Maxima of the Netherlands wore dreamy royal blue gown by Italian brand, Luisa Beccaria, and opted for deep blue colored clutch bag by Caillou Design. The dress was beautiful and the color looked lovely on her, but some commentators pointed out that the low cut in the front was perhaps too deep and maybe not the best choice in a Muslim country. At the evening banquet, they arrived with their daughter, Katharina Amalia, Princess of Orange. Queen Maxima looked sophisticated in her ivory gown embellished with embroidery and crystals. Princess Amalia, wearing a red gown, sparkled in the ruby peacock tiara which she paired with equally rich earrings, brooch, and bracelet. For the wedding ceremony, Japanese Princess Hisako of Takamado attended the wedding with her eldest daughter, Princess Saguko. Both women opted for beaded gowns for the occasion. Princess Hisako wore a taipan blue gown with floral motifs and a matching choker in pearls and sapphires. Her daughter, Princess Saguko, chose to wear a teal dress with a matching floral hair accessory and diamonds and emeralds jewels. For the evening reception, they wore elegant embroidered column gowns decorated with sequins and crystals featuring sheer sleeves. They opted for the same color scheme they picked for the morning ceremony. With their fashion choices, they beautifully represented the imperial family of Japan. The crown princess and prince attended the ceremony as a sartorial power couple, sporting outfits with complementary color palettes. Crown Princess Mary of Denmark looked graceful in a cream floral print gown by Erdem. The beautifully fitting dress featured a purple waistband. On her feet, she opted for grey satin pumps from Manolo Blahnik. She could have skipped the bow in the hair. For the banquet, Princess Mary wore a dress she has refashioned a couple of times. While she looked regal and very elegant, the choice of a one-shoulder gown in a Muslim country might be questionable and actually, 
she was the only one who made this bold choice. For the ceremony, the wife of the Sheikh of Qatar, donned an eye-catching Valentino Fall 1989 evening coat paired with a black gown. She chose a powder pink that matched her heels and featured the geometric black lines of the original. The A-line shape and heavy silk fabric of the floor-length swing coat produced a stunning effect. Her bespoke black turban was designed by Stephen Jones. For the banquet, Sheikha Moza opted for a lime green flowing gown from Valentino's Fall 2021 Haute Couture collection. In the evening, the stunning element of her outfit was her custom-made belt by Boghossian Jewelry. For the wedding, the Crown Princess of Sweden wore a full-length floral print satin gown by Melina. The dress is known as the Elise Floral Maxi Dress. She paired it with a metallic barrel clutch from Ely Saab and Bulgari's Allegra earrings. While the gown had this romantic touch, the color combination was not the most flattering she could pick and the upper part looked a bit too small on her. For the evening, Princess Victoria opted for a hot pink version of Safiya's Ginkgo cape dress. She channeled the Barbie core trend in a very stylish way and looked stunning. For the ceremony, Princess Sophie looked elegant in a navy blue lace dress with see-through lace sleeves. She accessorized with gorgeous antique sapphire and diamond necklace and coordinating earrings from her own family collection. For the evening reception, she wore a floral print dress with a matching fabric belt. While the overall look is fine, it felt this this was not her best fashion. For the ceremony, Queen Aziza of Malaysia wore a traditional dress in a very light buttercup yellow shade with lace bordering the tunic. She accessorized with an eye-catching necklace set with diamonds and red and green gems, plus two large breathtaking brooches. At the wedding, Queen Sophia wore a pale pink dress with a flouncing skirt. In the evening, Queen Sophia of Spain made her first tiara appearance in almost a decade, wearing the Nearchus rubies, a glorious set made of tiara, earrings and necklace. At the banquet, Nancy Pelosi, former Speaker of the US House of Representatives, wore a flowing floral motif dress. Unfortunately, the effect was that of a tropical print that you would wear on the beach or for a summer party. At the banquet, Ivanka Trump looked elegant in a pastel blue dress by Alex Perry. The gown boasted a twist bodice detail, padded, structured shoulders, long sleeves and a floor-length skirt. Now that you've seen our selection of guests, we would like to know who was your favorite and what you think about the bride's dresses. We would love to hear your opinion, so just please leave a comment here below. Bye!